<clears throat> All right, today we're going to talk about how to use a, a torque wrench. Um, a lot of people use impacts. And yes, I use an impact, but on certain applications. I just put in the CV axle on this uh, 2010 Ford Focus. And this uh, axle nut here, I will be torquing down with my torque wrench. But I will be using my impact first, but that's just to start it. Um, one reason why I don't use the impact is because you never know how much torque you're putting on the axle axle nut or if you have um you're putting on lug nuts uh you never know how much torque you're putting on and one thing about it if you put too much torque on this nut here you could wear, wear out your uh, hub bearing prematurely so um you can do it however you like but uh it's best that you use a torque wrench to tighten it down now the initial start yes you can just to speed up the process, you can use. All right, when you torque these down, um, the tires should be on the ground on the other side, but I have it on jack stand. So I had to create something to hold this rotor in place and so that, that the axle wouldn't spin. So I put a screwdriver here in a groove of the rotor and hopefully that works. If not, I would have to figure something else out. But we about to see what's going to happen. Like I say, you got to be able to improvise when you're doing stuff in your garage. And you don't have a, a top shop. But I consider my shop a top shop because I got to improvise all the time. So without further ado, let's see what's going to happen. You heard the click? That means it's tight enough. I'm gonna do it again for y'all, just in case y'all missed it. That's how you know you got 180 foot pound. It's not really hard. If I help y'all in any kind of way, like and subscribe. And I greatly appreciate y'all watching my video. Y'all have a good day.